All right, hey y'all. So, Temptation Island recap. Let's see, let's put this up here. Yeah, my background is a little messy right now. Pay me no mind, it's been, it's been a week, y'all. Let's see, is my background real bad? I'm just get close to the thing. Okay, so tonight was part one of the bonfires. What are y'all thinking? They they are wrong because they left us on a serious cliffhanger for tonight. Um, they they cut it right off when we were about to find out what Erica and Kendall were going to decide. Oh, thank you guys. Send it to your friends. Let's let's have a quick talk about this season in in part one of the bonfire really quickly. So spoiler alert: if you did not watch the show log out <laughs> log out right now because i don't want to spoil it for you but so part one of the bonfire what are your reactions so we saw aaron and Corey leave together now i was like uh what's happening i wasn't sure where that was about to go i had a feeling they were going to leave together but i really was not sure about where it was going to go um the time tonight they wasted time tonight with a bunch of time feel yeah i do think it, it was i think 30 minutes of the episode was kind of like recaps um but it provided some more background to what was happening so i'm not really upset with that but um yeah i definitely i wasn't too sure about aaron and uh corey what was going to happen with them i will say one i definitely see the growth in corey I see his confidence boosting. So proud of him. I have this filter on too. So if it does something weird, y'all, pay me no attention. I, I had to throw a filter on my face. Okay. Um, yeah, so Corey is definitely walking away with way more confidence than he came into the island with. I do see growth on Aaron's part as well. I mean, she started off the season really rough. Um, but I do appreciate the fact that she was able... Okay, I may have to take this filter off because... I can't have my lips being all delayed, <laughs> but um, I do appreciate the fact that Erin was able to have some type of accountability and realize that the way she was talking to Corey and treating Corey was not, it wasn't very nice, you know, and it sucks. I hate the fact that she was in an abusive relationship before. That's never okay, um, period, you know, for, for a man to put his hands on a woman or even for a woman to put his hands on a man it's it's, it's or, or yeah it's, it's, it's never okay um so i definitely appreciate the fact that she was able to acknowledge why she was the way she is but i am wondering did she truly grow like is it just a temporary growth or is this a, a real you know change and i hope that this is something that she really changed hey grandma from across the hall <laughs> um and I'll say this much, you guys, watching this show, I mean, I, I already knew this, but watching the bonfire clip between Corey and Aaron just really solidified the fact that it is so important to be single, like to really enjoy your singleness. Y'all, I'm taking this filter off. I feel like my lips are doing blah, blah, blah. Maybe if I back up some. <laughs> but no, it's, it's so important for us to step in our singleness, like. It's things that we are supposed to get as a single person before we get into a relationship with people. And and this was so evident between Corey and Aaron. You know, personally, I feel like being single, that's a time that you use to heal from your past traumas. That's really the time that you learn about yourself, the things you like, the things that you don't like, certain things that you're going to tolerate. You know, so, okay, I'm taking this filter off because it's below me. I look a little rough. It's cool. Whatever. Go away, filter. Did it go away? Go away. We don't want no filter. How I take this thing away? Hold on. I don't think it's going to let me take it away, y'all. Ah, no. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. It's me. But yeah, it's, it's things that we're supposed to learn in our singleness. And listen, 
it's so 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 important like right now i'm clearly single but it is things that i'm working through traumas that i didn't even realize i was still holding on to and it's so important because we don't want to bleed onto our our next relationship you know the things that we haven't fully healed from we don't want to take those traumas and end up ruining something great you know whether it's insecurities you don't want to carry past insecurities from previous relationships or something that you witnessed in the past and bring it into your relationship and now you're bleeding on a person that had absolutely nothing to do with the situation. So, you know, again, just watching the dynamics between um, Corey and Aaron, that was very, that was something that just stuck out to me because I think that they both could benefit from a season of singleness, honestly. And it doesn't mean that they don't love each other or that they, you know, are not going to get back together. But it definitely seemed like there were things that they both could work on individually and then come back together even stronger. I mean, they left the island together, so I really hope that you know they're 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 happy that they have continued the work that they started on the island because clearly they both love each other. Clearly they both had some things to work through personally, individually. So, I really do wish them both, you know, the best and hope that they are continuing to do the work because listen, healing is a process, it's a journey, it is not a destination. Okay. Now, let's get into this cliffhanger they left us on how dare they do that to us they knew we wanted to see what was going to happen between kendall and erica now i have to say this much and y'all this is tula unfiltered i'm here y'all drop your comments below we're giving a recap on temptation island the part one of the bonfire season three if you haven't seen it yet get out of here because spoiler alert spoiler alerts okay now i have to say this I was very proud of Erica and what she brought to the table during that bonfire. You know, she she <laughs> she came in confident. She came in irritated, which is good because you need to be a little bit irritated to hold your ground and, and stick to your guns, okay? She came in like, yeah, no, Kendall, that was not okay. And I'm so happy. I'm I'm happy that she is being vocal about what she saw and that she's not the same Erica and you know that it's not okay what he did was not okay and by her asking those questions yes Erica held his feet to the fire by Erica asking what did she say she asked him like um yeah so like how are you growing emotionally if you're just sleeping with everyone and he was quiet he was quiet for a minute. Now, I don't know if he was actually quiet that long, if that was a dramatic pause from production, but he was quiet. And that silence definitely spoke volumes. Because, again, how are you growing emotionally if you are physically just connecting with people? So I feel like she caught him, again, in the Kindle shuffle, as I like to call it. Um, super proud of Erica. Um, I will say, too, I did see some parts where Kendall was... I feel like he was starting to show his emotional side a little bit more. Now, I don't know if 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 the intentions behind it what what that was all about, but I do feel like he was able to kind of break down that wall and he wasn't giving us as much as the Kindle Shuffle as he usually does. So, they only gave us a small snippet. I definitely want to see what happens in the next episode. Um, drop your comments below. Let me see what you guys are saying. Um, <laughs> Arnold said you need to be single until you're 30. Listen, I'm creeping up on 30, and that and if that is what needs to take place, be single until you get the lessons you need to learn. Don't put a don't put a, a age cap on it. Um, oh, thank you. I don't look rough. You're so sweet. Um, all right, let's see. So, yes, next week's episode is the two second part to the bonfire. So, we have one more bonfire coming up, and then we have the reunion. And then there'll be no more season three. I'm kind of sad. This went by kind of quick, y'all. Uh, they might need a break from each other. That might bring them back together. Exactly. Sometimes you do need a break from your, your partner, like a true break. Not a Temptation Island break, but an actual break. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know what Erica's going to do, y'all. We're going to have to find out what Erica's going to do. And if you guys want to go live with me, too, uh, send me a request and we can go live real quick and I can hear some of your feedback, too. I will save this. I will definitely save this live. Um, I thought it was so interesting to watch Kendall change his tune 
with her questions. Yeah, you know what I found interesting too? Now, Kendall might beat me up for saying this, but whatever. So, he asked Erica a question. It was like, oh, so did you do anything? And when she expressed that she kissed her date, did y'all see the shift in his his body language? Like, he got pissed. He low-key got pissed that Erica kissed somebody. And I'm just like, the audacity. Sir, you had a whole threesome. You got mad because she kissed somebody. And you know what? Guys do that. Guys do that. And it it's so annoying. Can't take which, which a dish. And it's glad to see his reaction. Because I kept asking him, what would you do if she was over there doing what you, you're doing? Nah, she wouldn't do that. She wouldn't do I mean, she didn't do all of that. But she kissed somebody. And, and I was I was happy for her, okay? Uh, did I attend the reunion? I don't think I can talk about that just yet. Um, stay tuned. You'll see if I was able to attend or not. Um, I'm trying to go through your comments. Y'all bear with me because I don't have my glasses on. Uh, someone said he was trying to figure out a way to flip it on her. Probably. I love this week's episode. I can't believe that next Tuesday is the last one I know. So, well, it's the last episode and then there'll be a reunion. So, technically, we have two more episodes until season three is over. Yes, season three is the best. I told y'all this was going to be a really good season. Like, I love season one and two. But I feel like season three, I just feel like we took it to, like, a new level. It was just a lot, like, on so many different levels. I hope Erica kicks him to the curb, girl. You and the rest of America, okay? Love you this season. Thank you, Raro. He's a snake. Ah, oh, it's so harsh. Um, you are such a light. Gave great perspective. Oh, thank you. Thank you, girl. Okay. Yeah, he did get mad over that kiss. Like, the audacity. Um, okay. I see Erica leaving him on the island, but they might be together now. Mm, that's a good observation. That I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to find out uh after these these next two episodes to see um but yeah y'all this was definitely a fun episode let's see who's who's on this live i'm not gonna be on here too long because i'm not home and this wi-fi sometimes be cutting up i'm out of town so i'm happy that it's clear let's see we have jawan on here let me let me add in jawan really did you keep in connection with any other guys and girls absolutely i kept in touch with pretty much all the guys and girls from the house from the guys villa um you know i feel like it was summer camp you know when you go to summer camp and you just make these besties that y'all experience something that no one else can quite experience even if you explain to them like i will forever be connected to the guys and the girls um that were part of this Let's see. Well, I, I, I cut the request for Javon. He may not be ready, but y'all, um, I'm excited for next week. Are any of the cast member Capricorn? I have no clue. What month is Capricorn? You're the go to. Oh, thank you. I love your accent. <laughs> thank you. Listen, fun fact my accent is like low key, a combination of everywhere. Like, I grew up in the DMV area, so I have a DC accent, which a lot of people say is country. And then I moved out near Baltimore and, you know, they say their twos and stuff like two, ooh, they're going to beat me up. But I started to pick up on their accent a little bit. So I had a combination of like my DC accent and then my Baltimore accent from just being around them. Then I moved to Georgia and I started to get like a Southern twang a little bit. So I have all these three accents mixed up or mixed up. And then, you know, me uh, doing pageants and just being in broadcasting, I had to learn to enunciate because I talk really fast when I get excited and I drop the end of my words. So, yes, this is this is my accent. Thank y'all. <laughs> Raven said I'm late. Y'all Raven is from Baltimore. Um, January. I'm not sure. Um, do y'all get to watch the episodes beforehand? Nope. We are watching it all in full with you guys. Oh, um let's see we have a request i'll take a few people and then i'm gonna head out of here and jump with some other lives i love that julian asked you to help him pick the engagement ring for kristen yes y'all i was super excited hey. about that. hi <laughs> how's How it going you? i'm good What's your i'm name? in canada my name's ingrid hi ingrid yeah. hi nice hi. to meet you canada. i like those glasses 
Oh, thank you. I've been live a few times with different people like Ric Flair and um, even Medina. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I really, I've been following the show a lot. I really like it. Um, and, um, I love that like Julian asked to like you to bring him like ring shopping for Kristen. That was so yeah. sweet. And how you guys have like such a good like friendship. Like that's yeah, so special. No. Yeah, he, Julian is really cool. Like, honestly, I wish I had more, like, male friends like him in my life. So me and my cousin, we call them high-valued men. Like, guys that just have their heads on right, that can give you solid information. Yeah. Like, I feel like everyone needs a Julian in their corner to, to just be like, you know what? This is what it is. Like, they're good people. They're fun. So, yeah, I had fun going ring shopping. Like, it, it, was, yeah. it was fun. And just to see, like, his excitement... I was like, yeah. So I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really looking forward to next week's bonfire. Like, yeah, yes. sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I don't think that Erica and Kendall are gonna stay together. I'd be very I surprised. Hope, I hope not because I'm gonna be like, girl. Yeah, wow. <laughs> she can wow. do I so love, much like, better. You know, like I've I, been you know, through. Such shitty relationships to know, like, I'm like 35 now, so I'm like, yeah, you know, not totally settled down or anything, but I kind of, I definitely know my worth and what I want, and you know, yeah. well, you know what, too, I, I do believe that redemption is a real thing. I mean, we see that with Julian. He was able mm -hmm. to redeem himself from his infidelity. So, you know, I, again, I'm just really curious to see how this is going to fold out between Erica and Kendall, uh, what happens mm -hmm. at the bonfire and the reunion, and just even where they are today, because I don't know. I've purposely been trying to mind my business so I don't give out any spoilers. Yeah. Like, if I know information, it might slip out by accident. So I'm in yeah. my business. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Well, I am. Well, thank the, you so much for, for, for chiming in with us and tapping in and supporting this uh, season and the show. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on your live. I appreciate no problem, you. No girl. You're so we'll beautiful. see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, Bye. thank you. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Uh, she was super sweet. From Canada, y'all. People really be watching this show from, like, all over. Um. Okay, y'all. Well, listen. That was my recap for tonight's episode, part one of The Bonfire. Um, I'm excited to see next week's episode. Let's see. I'll take one more person, and then I'm going to head out of here and probably hop into some other lives to see what some of the other singles are talking about. Allergies don't have to be scary. Hey, how are you? Oh, well, he's left. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, again, thank you all for supporting this season, for being so interactive, for being so vocal. Um, whether you love something or you didn't like anything, just thank you all, honestly. Um, y'all are amazing. Like, it's so fun. Listen, y'all don't understand. It's so fun tweeting and watching the show with you guys, and especially those who hop on to my um virt my virtual watch parties y'all are hilarious i love y'all continue to interact have fun tell us how you feel and again you know is this anywhere that i can help support you guys in your journey i'm here this is what this is what this is for okay this is all about community okay like y'all help me i help you we are one big happy internet family right now y'all my cousins on my in on my instagram side so yes y'all all right <laughs> i will talk to y'all later be blessed have a great week and i know this is kind of off topic a little bit but i know today has been heavy in general listen y'all keep your heads up hug on your loved ones do what you need to do to make sure that you are staying mentally sane, spiritually sane. Um, the news is, is really heavy right now. So if you need to disconnect, it's okay. If you are feeling trauma from, from what's happening in the news, it's okay. It's normal. Talk to someone. Um, if there's something going on that you're not able to handle yourself, there are definitely resources out there to help you. 
Uh, a few of my favorites are NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness, um, Therapy for Black Girls. They have a whole directory where you can find someone to talk to and also Therapy for Black Men. Um, and you can also call your insurance company if you are um, looking for someone. So yeah, I always like to plug those in because you just never know what someone's going through and we just have to look out for each other. So all right, y'all, until next week, peace.